Today we're going to talk about throwing the lifeline of love. I know this is Valentine's weekend, and uh, if you forgot to get a card for somebody or buy them a big sucker, buy them a big box of candy, you know, you still got time today to do that. But I'm thankful that the Lord gave us scripture to stand on. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 is where I want to begin today. Isaiah 26, 3. It says, My heavenly Father keeps me in perfect peace because my mind is continually on Him. Praise God. Amen. And I trust in Him. So you see, there is a trust factor when it's serving the Lord. Thank you. My heavenly Father keeps me in perfect peace. Because my mind is continually stayed on him. And I trust in him. So I don't trust in the enemy. The enemy? Amen. No. He's a failure. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. He's the father of lies. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. All bad comes from hell. All bad bad comes out of the devil's camp. And what the enemy tries to do when he tries to cause us to panic and when we get our balance and get our equilibrium and when we stand up and we fight the fight of faith, he tries to hit us again. And so there are fiery darts along the way that the enemy shoots at us but we can block them with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when he shoots them at our mind, my heavenly Father keeps me in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Because my mind is continually on him and I trust him. Why do I trust him? Because the word tells me that I can. Amen. Instead of fearing and being discouraged all day long, I do not have to panic about the problem or the pressure that I face. And I can run to the word of God and God's word begins to make everything better along the way. And it starts really quick. Amen. Amen. Give God praise for that today. Amen. So Isaiah 26, 3, my heavenly father keeps me. Glory to God. I like that word. Keeps Amen. me. He keeps me. He keeps me so I can run. I can make it from point A to point B. He keeps me along the way. The steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. Amen. And so he knows that there are traps out there. He knows the enemy's doing everything he can to cause us to stumble and fall and to falter and fail. But praise God, the Lord is the lifter of our yes. head. The Lord gives us strength along Amen. the way. The Lord provides. Glory be unto God. He provides yes, he ways through the darkness, praise God, and he gives us favor of strength and grace and mercy that is there. Hallelujah. Amen. So my heavenly Father keeps all of us in perfect peace. So while the enemy's out there trying to cause everybody to panic, we can have perfect peace. Glory to God. Amen. My mind is stayed upon the Lord. My heart is strengthened today. Why? Because the Lord is a true one. He will honor his word. The word that this praise team's been praising about today. We can go and we can sing and we can shout. And we can Amen. praise the Lord just like she's saying. We can glorify his name because he has a great name. Hallelujah. Amen. And the heaven's Amen. greatness. Glory to God. You can bank on that. Amen. He guaranteed his greatness. Yes. He promised us I'll never leave you no. nor forsake you. Amen. But I'll go with you all the way Amen. even to the end of the world. Amen. Give God praise today. Amen. Glory. My heavenly Father keeps us in perfect peace because our minds are continually on Him and we trust in Him. Hallelujah. When there's nothing else to do, trust Him. When you've gone as far as you could go, trust Him. When your back's against the wall, trust Him. When you're on your bed looking up and you're sick and you don't know how you're going to make it through the day, trust Him. When your bank account's at zero, Trust him. Amen. When there's no gas in your car, trust him. Amen. When
when your bones are weary and your muscles are hurting and your back is tired and your legs are wobbling under you. Trust Him. Hallelujah. When you feel like you don't have sufficiency, trust Him. Glory be to God. Yeah. When medical bills go up and food goes up and bills across this nation goes up, the church can stand there like David. I once was young, but now I'm old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Give God praise in the house. Oh, I feel like preaching right there. Praise God. My Heavenly Father keeps me, keeps all of us. Yes. In perfect peace. Not just peace, yes. but perfect peace. Yes. Amen. There's peace. You know, the president can fly across the world, land in a war area, and they can call for a declaration of peace. They can sign a peace treaty. And they'll say, okay, as of seven days from now, Everybody's going to lay their arms down and we're going to live by the peace treaty. And they'll live by that a week or two or a month or two, a year or two. But you know what? Anything signed by man, made by man, it's going to fail. That's right. But when Jesus went to the cross, Amen. that's a Valentine's gift right Amen. there, isn't it? Amen. He went to the cross and he signed with his own blood. His declaration of faith, glory be unto God. Yes. And we can trust him because he will honor that peace treaty. So it's more than a document that a president depends on and the Congress depends on. My heavenly father keeps us in perfect peace. He signed, sealed, and delivered it. It's perfect peace. And it will never fail. It will always be there to accomplish what it is there for it to accomplish. And that's giving us victory and giving us yes. perfect peace. Lord. More than just man-made peace. More than just, yes. you know, I'm going to tell you what's good. A bologna sandwich <laughs> that's fried. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 42 slices of Pringles on it. <laughs> and I said fried bologna, didn't I? On toast with cheese and lettuce, 42 Pringles, and you smash that thing down. Toast, you know. Yeah. Oh my. Good stuff. And Diet Pepsi, 35 pieces of ice in the glass. And the ball game on. Sitting there with a paper plate, you know, you. you not, there's nothing like a fried bologna sandwich. That's peace. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But God has given us his guarantee if we make it through this life. One day we're going to be able to celebrate. And we're going to be in heaven. And we're going to eat heavenly food. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. That's perfect. That's above bologna. Come on. Yeah, That's above Pringles. Yeah. That's above Diet Pepsi. That's above the football game on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I want to tell you, because he loved us, he perfected that love. Because he wanted us to have peace, he perfected his peace. Because he gave us a perfected faith, glory to God, then fear has to go and Panic is demolished. Yes. Anxiety has to go. Yeah, and we can trust yeah. God. Why? My Heavenly Father keeps us in perfect peace. Yes. Because our minds are continually on Him. And I trust in Him. Amen. I want you to shout, we trust in the Lord today. We shout trust that. in the Lord today. Hallelujah. So perfect love. Cast out fear. 1 John 4.18, I want to just give you that scripture to write down. And that's a good one to put on your refrigerator. Amen. 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love because perfected love casts out fear. I will not fear because I am made perfect in God's love. I'm going to say that again. 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love because perfected love casts out fear. 
I will not fear because I am made perfect in love. So it's when I want to go under, when the weight and the cares of life are, are assailing me, and it feels like the hurricane, torrential winds of fear and panic are on the horizon, and we're broken down. It's the Lord that comes in with his perfect love. Amen. There is no fear in love because perfected love casts out fear. What he does, he comes in with his big hand and removes the winds. And he gets in the boat with us. And he cries out to the storm. And he says, peace be still. And the waves have to stop beating against the boat. Amen. And the waves and winds have to just calm down like a whipped puppy in the corner. Glory to God. Amen. And if you're on the life ship, you just hold on. Let the captain row through the storm. God will take you from point A to point B. And right now, it might seem like you're on a desert island all the way, way away from God. But he's right there with you. Amen. You might feel like you're in Middletown where nobody knows your name. But I want to tell you, God knows who you are. Amen. God knows where you are. God knows who your family is. God knows Amen. how much money you have or whether you don't have it. Amen. God knows when you ate your last meal. God knows your dreams. And I want to tell you, if you'll just dream about the Lord a little bit, let your dream arise and say, panic, you, you just hush. Discouragement, anxiety, frustration, you just lay down. Yeah. And I'm going to trust 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love because perfected love casts out fear. I will not fear because I am made perfect in God's love. I'm not perfect in Mark Arnold. I'm not perfect in my own muscularity Amen. or my own strength or stamina. I used to be strong as a young man. I'd run 10 miles a day when I played sports. I was 195 pounds, and I'm about 196 pounds now. <laughs> well, I have a prayer line for, for a lion. <laughs> How in the world did the devil get in here that, that quick? I was talking about God now. Well, I'm 197, maybe. <laughs> but uh, I, I could run and I, I, I'd run 10 miles a day and hardly not even break out in sweat but I tell you when I dropped over on a Saturday afternoon and had a massive heart attack and they put me on a helicopter and flew me by helicopter and they did a four bypass heart operation and it was the same doctor that did Vice President Cheney's heart that doctor was coming out. He, he had the whole weekend off. He had just finished being in a long surgery. And he saw the helicopter coming in. I told you last week in that message about getting on the helicopter and, and the uh, hydraulics failing. And my son Brandon and our friend Christian. Brandon's tall and Christian's tall. And they were there and they... They got me up there somehow. And I remember the doctor telling me about it later and the EMTs and those that rode on that helicopter, they, they said, we couldn't get nobody up there. And they said, all we remember is two big guys just walked out and grabbed your bed and shoved it up there and locked you down. Well, I know the Lord was there. Amen. The Lord knew. But you see, the other side of it is when you're looking up and the doctor says, all you have is 3% of your heart. And you have to go on disability. And you can't run anymore. And you can't do the things that you like anymore. Yeah, my, my life it seemed like in one Saturday it was over with. But there is no fear in love. Amen. Because perfect love cast out fear. Thank you, Jesus. I had to depend on the Lord. I'm thankful for a good surgeon. I'm thankful for cardiologists. Amen. I'm thankful for nurses. I want to tell you, when I was in that ICU ward, I remember on the fourth day, being on life support, and that breathing tube, it was like when they finally pulled that thing out, I don't know how in the world, it was like a big plastic mop shoved right down my throat. And they kept pulling and pulling and pulling and yanked it out and just laid it right there on my gut. And I, oh, thank God they pulled that thing out. But there was a little black nurse at 4 a.m., I remember that was the fourth day in ICU and the devil literally was like a gray cloud in that room 
And I've preached about it before, but every time I think about this, this is the way that the, the enemy always works. He doesn't come when you feel good. He'll say amen to your singing. He'll be right here. Oh, I, he'll agree even with scripture. He'll sit right there. He'll enjoy the service. He'll even go out to eat with you. He likes pizza. Come on. Amen. But you know what? When you're down and nobody else is around, what happens? The devil comes in. Yeah. And it was like a gray, smoky, just a mask that was there in that room in ICU. And I remember 4 o'clock in the morning. This is the fourth day after my surgery. And I, I literally, I, I felt like I was, I was being wrestled for my life. The enemy wanted me to, to go out that day. And a little black nurse came in at 4 o'clock when they changed nurses in the ICU. And I remember she pulled my rail down on this right-hand side. My head was up here, my feet down here. I'm laying in that bed. And this little nurse, she gets up on a little stool. And she puts that right arm guard down. And she lays her body over and whispers in my ear. She said, good morning, Pastor. And I could hear her. And she got out oil. She put a cross on my forehead. Oh, praise God. She laid hands on me. Thank you, Lord. And she said, Pastor. She whispered again. She said, Death's not going to win today. Amen. Amen. Not on my watch. That's what she said. It was oh, four days in ICU, and I'm thankful God sent a Holy Ghost black nurse in there with Amen. oil. Glory be to I want to tell you, I believe God heard everybody's prayers. I know that the righteous were praying. Come on. Amen. The effectual of prayer of a righteous man avails much, Amen. but I'm thankful where it says if to agree on earth is touching anything, it Amen. shall be done. Shall she be said, done. Pastor, do you believe that? I I believe it. And I, I'm looking at one, one eye, and you know, everything's taped down and blocked off. And, and she, she leaned over, and she kissed me on the cheek right here. And then she kissed me right on the forehead where she anointed me and prayed. And then she leaned over and kissed me again right there on that cheek. <laughs> and she said, not on my watch. Unspeakable and full of glory. Come on, everybody. Give God praise in the house. I want you to think of something the Lord's done for you. And please hear me. If you got a question, guess what? God is big enough to handle any question you have. I'm going to just let you, you can believe God enough to, to just say, God, and, and guess what? He can handle this. God, I don't like you. Have you ever been to a place where, you know, panic causes you just to be stripped down? Your faith was gone. You may say, God, I, I, I don't like you right now. Guess what? Why are you saying that, Pastor? Because God is God. He can take that. His strength is bigger than that. You're not weak for being honest with God. Just don't be foolish. Be honest. God, I don't understand my valley. I don't understand why I was in that mess in that hospital. I don't, I, and I don't like, you know, but guess what? God will value conversing to you about things. If he wants to provide an answer, he will. Sometimes he'll say yes, sometimes he'll say no. Sometimes he'll say maybe. Sometimes he'll say, just hold on. And the thing is, you go to the Word, and then the next time, present the Word to him and say, since you wrote this, this is what you got to back up. I can write a poem, that's nice, but God doesn't have to bless my poem. I can write a song, God doesn't have to bless my song. I can get up here and read a, read, read, read a magazine or an article, I, I can read stats, I can read all of this stuff. You know, God, God you know, well that's good, God, God, yeah, that, that, that's good. 
But what I'm saying, when you've done all you know to do, present the word and say, God, you said I could have perfect peace. Show me why I'm living in, in fear then. God, you showed me that I, I didn't have to panic. God, you said if two agree on earth is touching anything, it shall be done. Then God, you wrote it, you created it, back it up. Amen. I'm not going to question you foolishly, but I'm going to trust you more. God, if you never heal me again, I'm still going to love you and trust you. And God, if I go a whole week without hearing from you, I'm still going to trust you. God, if this is the driest spiritual month of my life, I'm still going to serve you. Amen. Praise the Lord. If I've got to lay on every hand, I'm still going to do right diligence of the word, and I'm going to overcome the enemy with the word, and I'm going to stand in here, hallelujah, and I'm going to just be still and know that God is God. I don't know what the assurance that everything will be all right. God is God. So you may not agree and you may not like. That's okay. But trust him anyway. Father, touch our congregation. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Do a work in their lives. Touch their homes. Meet every need. Meet every need, oh God. We bless you. We praise you. We consciously, right now, instead of taking on panic and fear, and worry and dread. We choose to have excitement. Perfected peace is there and we're encouraged to stand on the word of truth. Give God praise.
my friends in the house. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. It really seems like the theme today is his great name. The greatness of his love. The magnificence of his mercy and strength and power. How many chooses his perfect peace right now? I want you to look at two people and say, I choose his perfect love right now in Jesus' name. Let them know that right now. I choose that, his perfect love in Jesus' name. I choose that. I choose his perfect love in Jesus' name. Give God praise in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. God's great love. You may be seated in the congregation. God is good. God is so awesome. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're so glad that you came today. We're going to be receiving our tithes, our offerings. And we want you to be faithful at this time. Hallelujah. In just a minute, Sister Vanda has a special announcement. But we're going to finish this part of our service, the tithes, the offer offerings, the missions. Anything you would like to give today, be faithful. Be faithful. God will bless. Father, I thank you for touching our congregation. You have provided miracle after miracle after miracle. You are a God with a great name. Heaven is great. And it causes hell to panic. The depths of hell shakes at the powerful name of Jesus. So the blood of Jesus and his awesome attributes, his word causes hell literally to shake. We give you praise, Lord, again. We're not coping with anything. We're living in victory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Is giving it I'm taking back.
Penny March. Praise God. Taking it back. How many chooses to take it back? Anything that the devil has stolen. Praise God. Thank you, praise team. Awesome. 